Hello friends, uh, would you be interested in becoming a licensed practical nurse in New Brunswick, Canada? If you are, this video is for you. Uh, my name is Anne, a registered nurse, and I'm very, very thankful for you being here. I really appreciate your time. Uh, so in Canada, we have uh, different uh, nursing professions. Uh, we have registered nurses, we have licensed practical nurses, uh, registered psychiatric nurses, as well as nurse practitioners. Becoming a licensed practical nurse in Canada usually requires a two to three years uh, program leading to a nursing diploma. Uh, licensed practical nurses, uh, they work with various um, types of patients in different clinical settings and some of, LP, some of the LPNs uh, can choose to specialize in a particular type of, um, of nursing, but their scope of practice is more limited than that of a registered nurse. Um, in today's video, we are going to go through the registration process for um, licensed practical nurse in the province of New Brunswick. Um, we are going to cover requirements and the cost for this process. I assure you, it's very easy and shortest process ever with very minimal requirements. And without further ado, let's do this. We are going to open Google search on our browsers and we're going to type in ANB, ANB LPN, and we are going to go direct and open that and it's going to take us to this page here and you can use the link over here or you can just go to this link over here they're both gonna take you to the um, licensed practical nurses website and so this is how the website looks like a and b l p n website and we are going to go ahead to the applicant and open internationally educated nurses and once here we are going to open the IEN application process okay so we are going to click that and it's going to take us to this document here and this document has all the steps and all the information that we need to know for this application okay so from the first step to the to finish uh, we are going to find out what we need to do from start to the end from this document here and basically it's very very simple and it's just um, self-explanatory like you don't need so much from this application it's just in black and white and you can be able to understand most of the things that they have outlined in this document. So, first things first, um, the first step they say is that any applicant or any internationally educated nurse applicant must start with an NNAS application. Okay? So, for this registration process, it's mandatory to start with NNAS. So even before you think of anything else, open up an account with NNAS and put in your application. And for your regulatory body, you are going to select ANBLPN, okay? And then you're going to do all the other things and submit your document to NNES for them to review your documentation and give you an advisory report. So any graduate of a nursing education program outside of Canada or any nurse who is currently who is not currently registered as a as a registered nurse or a licensed practical nurse or a registered secretary nurse in Canada can apply for this um, 
for this registration okay so they have gone ahead and given you the steps that you need to take to apply uh, to NNES so I think I talked about more of NNES in my last video and um, you just need to create an account with NNES and then submit all your documents if you need any language test NNES is going to advise you on that so that is not um, a defining factor for you not to start your NNES application so start your NNES application and if you need language proficiency then they are going to let you know and if you don't need then they are going to continue with your review and uh, the process for your advisory report okay so once everything is good and you get your advisory report that's when now you're going to start your registration with ANBLPN okay so um, they have given a link here where you're going to uh, create your account with AN, ANBLPN and then uh, meet all the other requirements. We're going to come back to that in just a few. So once you create your account, there are some documents that you need to submit and one of them is you're going to need your NNES registration and application numbers. And those numbers, you'll be able to find them in your NNES account. The other thing you require is copies of one piece of government issued photo ID identification, uh, your birth certificate, uh, if you require uh, language proficiency so you'll be able to submit your IET, TEF or CELBAN and you also need your recent criminal record check within the last six months so make sure you have that ready for this purpose okay so if the regulatory body requires additional documents they are going uh, to request those from you maybe Probably uh, there are some documentation that were not complete. Probably they would want more documentation. So just be on the lookout for that. And then after all that is done, you have your account created, you have submitted your document, then they are going to create an invoice for you for your application fee, which is 200 Canadian dollars. Okay. So once all that is done they are going to review your application and if everything is good then they are going to um, to approve your application and then you will be required to complete a 10-week online uh, pathways to to licensure program and this program is just to prepare you for your work so it's very very important and this program it's going to cost you 250 canadian dollars and that also they are going to create an invoice for you all right so from there after you are done with your uh your pathway to licensure program then you're going to complete your jurisprudence module in the jurisprudence module you will find a free online module on their website where you're going to get all the materials and resources that you need to study for the test and once you're good to go then you can take the test and you're going to pay 40 dollars okay uh, once all of that is done you have uh, created your account you have submitted your document you have completed your licensure program you have done your jurisprudence module then you will be able to apply for your graduate practical nurse license and this is just like a provisional uh, license so you can be able to apply for a job with this license as you prepare to do your entry exam okay and for this for you to apply for for this gpn license they have given you a link here so you're going to go into this link and login or create an account and login and then you'll be able to apply for your provisional license okay once you get your uh, uh you you once you open up that account you're going to uh, upload the copy of your jurisprudence certificate 
and your uh, second criminal record check and you're going to pay the provisional DPN license invoice of $51.75. Uh, okay, so once you receive your GPN license, then you can go ahead and uh, prepare for your entry exam, which is CPNRE, okay? So this exam, uh, you're going to pay a thousand dollars and they are going to give you your uh, preparation resources. So they have a prep guide and then predictor test. And once you're done with your predictor test, you'll be able to know your chances of passing the entry exam. And if you're good, then you can go ahead and uh, book your exam date with yardstick. So after you are done with your pred uh, predictor test, then you're going to receive an email from Yardstick, which is the organization that carries out this um, examination. It's done online. So with this, uh, after you receive your email, you're going to get your instructions on how to book your exam date and the time for your CPNRE. And then you're going to pay for your seat, which is 105 Canadian dollars. All right so once your cpnre is is done then your results are going to be out within one uh to one and a half months and then you're going to get your full licensure for this application see it is as simple as that so there there is not much that is needed for this application. So if you're an uh, international educated nurses and you would want to start with an L LPN license, this is the way to go. And you can just come here and start your application. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and check out the, the total cost for this application. Um, after doing my maths, so the total cost for this application, it's going to cost you around 1,739 Canadian dollars. That is tax included. And I'm gonna show you, um, I'm going to show you their fee schedule but this one they have uh the one they have here is for 20 uh 2022 but what happens is that the fee is uh the fee changes depending on when you are going to register for your exam so for international educated nurses your fee schedule lies under the student uh, fee schedule here so whether you're, uh, if you're going to apply between January, March, or November, then your fee schedule is outlined here. So depending on when you're doing your registration, your registration fee is going either to be uh, higher or lower, depending on when you're doing it. All right, so the next thing I wanted to show you is about account creation. Uh, for this application uh, once you are done with your NNES and now you are ready to put in your LPN application uh, so you can just uh, come here on the home page and open the member login so member login um, let's so this is how it looks so for those who have an account, they're just gonna go ahead and put in their details. But for for us, we are going to be creating a new account. So we are going to sign up for a new account. So you can use this link here or you can just come here and sign up, okay? So from there, then you're going to put in your details, your email address 
and then you're going to confirm your email address and then you're going to go uh, to the next step the next step will be to create your password and then um, confirm your password and then your account will be set I don't want to go into details in that because it's just self-explanatory and I know you can be able to do this that okay so um, I think that's all for this application basically it's very very simple and self-explanatory and you can be able to do it on your own